Uh, how's everyone doing today? I am Michael Gibbons, TheMGExperience.com. Follow me on Twitter, Dutch Chicago Fan. Today I'm uh, doing a little book review on Stan Makita, Forever a Blackhawk. I don't know what took me so long to read this book because I've had it for a while and uh, I was reading a couple other things, got sidetracked. And all of a sudden yesterday I kind of just sat down and, you know, I'm going to read this book. I mean, it's 180 pages. There's a lot of pictures. It'll go by easy. Really, I read it like that. Just done. I mean, just to show you some of the great pictures that are in here. I mean, Stan's sitting on the bench. Sorry, it's always hard going back and forth here. Scooter line. I'm mean, just so interested in listening, reading from his point of view. He was assisted by team historian Bob Verde. So it it's written in Stan's words, it's just Bob did a little editing and put it in the way to make it read better. But Stan's words, leaving Czechoslovakia, going to Canada. I mean, it's one of those things you never would think that Makita wasn't actually his real last name. It wasn't. That was his uncle's name who brought him to Canada and in essence adopted him. I mean, he had two sets of parents. He had his parents in Czechoslovakia and he had his parents in Canada where he grew up and... You know, it's just so funny. He grew up knowing of Bobby Hall, that they were in the same kind of area. They, were, they sometimes played against each other and with each other growing up. And I think that they would then end up on the Blackhawks. And just it's so interesting reading what he thought and how what he thought of America and Canada growing up in Czechoslovakia, leaving there when he was eight. How hockey was the furthest from his mind. He wasn't this kid who grew up loving hockey. He played out. I mean, he just played everything. And eventually, going to Canada, of course, that's where hockey, I mean, hockey's bred into you. And then going, starting to play and starting to show up at the age of like 9 and 10 to teams that were looking for, they were try out for 12 and 13 year olds and making it. And him being on three different hockey teams growing up and then trying out for the feeder team for the Blackhawks and making it and then staying there and not really sure still what he was going to do. Uh, I mean, he says numerous times in the book, like, it, if they made a movie out of this, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it if you if it wasn't true. I mean, they couldn't they couldn't make this up. I mean, he never played a day in the minors. He got called up, went back down to. I mean, in essence, what it was it was juniors. Got called up and then got called up for real the next year. Was playing with Bobby Hall. It, it was very interesting too having little excerpts from fellow players like Bobby Hull and Tony Esposito and Dennis Savard and Len Hall does the epilogue and just very interesting what people thought of him and how Bobby Hull biggest regret is that they never really played on the same line together. They were kind of split up and it's kind of what the Hawks were doing trying to start this year with Taves and Kane, put them on separate lines so teams can't gang up on them and they stuck true to that and just listen to Reading just Makita talking about how special it was and, I mean, winning that first Stanley Cup and then how they thought they were a dynasty. They thought, I mean, this was going to be something they're doing every year. And they they never won it again. They got close a couple times, but they never won it. And then all the trades, Glenn Hall basically retiring, being drafted by the Blues and basically unretiring because they are paying him so much money. Being in Chicago when possibly the Blackhawks were – possibly could have kept moved. It's very interesting also reading how bad things were before that 61 championship. And then you think now how bad things were, were before the 2010 championship. I mean, it, I hope that we don't have to go through another like awful period before we can win another Stanley Cup. And then him talking to Taves and Kane and all these guys who were on the 2010 team and don't take this for granted. Don't think you're going to be there every year because that's what we thought and it didn't happen. And it was the same thing. Makita and Hull were very young, just like Taves and Kane were when they won. So also just like hearing about how his wife and what his kids do now and just everything. It was just, and then his, what led to his retirement and just how awful it was that he left and then was gone from this organization for almost 30 years and how happy he was when he got that call from John McDonough almost 30 years later, basically welcoming him, welcoming him back 
we want you back. We want you and Bobby to come back. And really, he had not been part of the organization since they raised his jersey to the rafters. I mean, just he, I mean, Murray Banks might be Mr. Cubs. Stan Makita is Mr. Blackhawk. Played his entire career with the Blackhawks, 22 seasons. First player in the giant history of the Blackhawks to get their number retired. Maybe they were just a little slow on that. I mean, because Len Hall probably should have been the first. And there might have been, I mean, who knows? There might be guys who deserve it way back when. I, I don't know. I mean, Glenn Hall was retired first, and it's hard to argue. But again, I mean, that dollar Bill Wirtz. And it's also interesting hearing Makita talk about Bill Wirtz and how he was different. I mean, that yeah, there were some things that were he did very wrong, but there were some things that he did very right. And how Makita negotiated his contracts and how a lot of the time it ended up going to the owner who had to approve it. And... It's just a really interesting book. I mean, like I said, it's 180 pages. A lot of those are pictures. It's a very simple read. It's appropriate for all ages. I know I'm going to give it to my nephews to read. It's a very good book. I highly recommend it. And yeah, like it's just a nice, easy read. It's fun. It's interesting. It's not a lot of like a, a lot of like. Uh, sorry, it's not like a lot of other biographies that are so detailed. And we got to talk about this whole incident for 20 pages and. It's just, I mean, literally, you can almost kind of hear Makita saying this to you. And it, it just, it's nice. It's refreshing. It's a good book. Thank you very much to the guys at Triumph Pub Publishing for sending me the book. They are a great company. They do so many sports books, uh, like the Football Underground, which I've done before, I've read before. And I have coming up Raising Lombardi, Tough Guy, Bob Probert. All books that they sent to me that I'm going to be reading and doing some reviews for. Uh, so thank you very much to Triumph Publishing, Stan Makita, The Blackhawks. Very good read. Very much recommended. It also comes with this little tribute DVD. So make sure you get that. Make sure you get the, the good version. Make sure you get the special photographic collector's edition. Because, it, like I said, a lot of good pictures. I mean, him, him with both scooter lines and his feelings when guys got traded and I mean, like when Phil Esposito got traded and then competing with Phil Esposito and him being the only player to ever win three trophies at, at the same time in the award ceremony and him competing with Phil Esposito for the, the point lead and him skipping that uh, second award ceremony when he won the three trophies because the first time his wife wasn't allowed in. So a lot of nice little stories and fun fact. Well, a lot of people I bet don't know, Mike Ditka was in Stan Makita's wedding. What do you think about that? Uh, so that's about it. Stay tuned for uh, my next one. It'll probably, I think I'll be raising Lombardi, go to a little football, and then we'll do the Bob Probert. And I got a couple other books. I got a Joe Paterno one. I got uh, Bobby Bowden, uh, another one about USA hockey. Uh, so a lot of interesting stuff. Stay tuned. Like I said, check me out, mgexperience.com. Follow me on Twitter, Dust Chicago Fan, DA Chicago Fan. Check me out on Bleacher Report, where I'm a feature columnist for the Chicago Bulls and the Chicago Blackhawks. And you can check out my website for all my writing, videos, things like that, about Bears, Cubs, anything in general. So check me out. Talk to you guys later.